Hey guys, Carl with APT. We're here at CES Unveil 2017. We're here with Merlin from PowerVision, and he's going to tell us all about some really cool drone-type products that he's got going on over here at his booth. So, PowerVision Robot, we're actually a robotics company more than a drone company, um, and we have this uh, vision of integrating robotics into the everyday household, and of course we started with quadcopters, uh, flying robots as it were. Um, starting first with our first consumer drone, which is called PowerEgg. PowerEgg's a, a, a quadcopter drone, but obviously it collapses down into sort of a unique form factor. Um, expands out, arms come out, egg, they crack the egg, we love egg jokes. Um, revealing a 4K integrated camera on a three axis stabilized gimbal. It's got uh, optical flow and sonar for indoor flight. It does full GPS flight and autonomous flight modes, just like all your favorite quadcopters on the market with a very obvious difference in its form factor and shape. One of the other things about us is that we have this theory that people have a personal relationship with their electronics, that we all buy our phone cases and we all sticker up our laptops and we want our stuff to be our stuff. And with PowerEgg, because it's white when it's collapsed in so much canvas, we actually give you the ability to skin it, make it personalized, you can have it any color you want, any shape you want. My son's really into Minecraft, I might do an 8-bit version for him. You're on a dra Game of Thrones Dragon Egg style, whatever you want. So you can actually skin it and personalize it. That's our consumer quadcopter. That's on pre-sale now on our website, um, powervision.me. The other great thing about this is that we actually created something to make flying it easier, and this is called Maestro. This is a gesture-based controller. So it comes with a standard stick twisting controller that you might use on every other quadcopter, but it also comes with this, which gives you the ability to launch the drone, and once it's in the air, move it away from you by moving your arm, bring it back side to side, ascend, descend, point the camera at you, take a picture, press and hold the stop, start, record. So all through a gesture-based rather than standard two-handed controllers. Very cool. Is that the only is that the only way to control that, or no. can you control it through a phone or through a remote? It, no, it actually controls the same way most of the quadcopters on the market today with a standard controller or Maestro using your phone, your iOS device, your Android device to get that first-person view. Um, besides that, we also have a pro super level copter. This is Power Eye, which is a high-end cinematography style drone that also collapses down. We're really into portability and collapsibility. So this has a integrated 4K camera with interchangeable micro four-thirds lenses, FPV cameras on the front, object detection, dual control options. It obviously collapses down and we're using high-end props because it's a high-end piece. Um, we're really proud of this guy. This is a, uh, take some of the best footage I've ever seen a drone take. Super smooth, super silky, and beautiful, beautiful camera work. For the show, for CES 2017, we're really excited to announce this guy. This is something very new and very unique. This is Power Ray. This is a submarine. First underwater submersible drone uh, created by us, Power Vision. And we started with the idea that we wanted to just take that cinematography, video footage that people were taking from the sky underwater, and it morphed from there into something a little bit more functional as well. So besides having a first person view, integrated 4K camera on the front and lights, we also integrated a fish finder on the bottom. So the fish finder in conjunction with the drone itself and this little attachment right here gives you the accessory piece that we call a remote precision bait drop. So you, you can actually attach your bait from your fishing pole to the top of the drone, drive the drone directly into the school of fish, in 4K watch the fish come up, snatch the bait off your line, which then separates from the drone and allows you to reel it in with your fishing pole. It's like a cheat code for fishing. <laughs> That's very cool. Now is that, is that available now? No. So, uh, Power Egg is going to be shipping um, uh, basically any day now, uh, within the next month. Power Eye, also about a month. Power Ray is going to go into pre-sale at the end of February, and we're going to be launching it and shipping it in, uh, sometime in the spring. Uh, what kind of price point are we looking at on those? I don't have a price point on Power Ray just yet. Um, we're still trying to figure out what the market can bear and where it fits in price point wise. We have the, the benefit that there's not a lot of competition, direct competition with it out there. But we also want to want it to be at a price point that consumers are comfortable with integrating into their everyday life, because that's ultimately what our mission is: is to get people to integrate robotics into their everyday life. Cool. You got anything else cool for us? Well, the only other thing that I didn't show you guys was Power B, and there's there's been a fair bit of press on this kind of stuff recently, which is this is a service that we provide, which is an integrated drone choreographed light show. So these come in at six packs of drones 
and no camera on these, just lights on the bottom. They all work in conjunction through a pre-programmed light show that give you the ability to do beautiful choreographed shows with up to 120 drones synchronized within a couple of feet of each other in the air. And you said they come in a six pack? Yeah, yeah, so you can do six to 120 drones. We just ship them six at a time as a service. Um, we're gonna be launching that as a service in the first half of 2017. We're still figuring out all the logistics and the legality of doing so. Because right now there's some issues in regards to what the FAA will allow in regards to how many drones per one pilot. And first and foremost, we wanna stay within the confines of the law and safety. So. Cool, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Of course. Anytime. All right. All right, guys, we got a lot of a lot of cool stuff coming to us here at, uh, at CES Unveil 2017. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at App, and we certainly appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.